ginger-haired princess subverts medieval societal norms and kicks ass. Haven't I seen this movie before? Hey guys, welcome to Flickish, and if this is your first time checking out our videos, consider hitting that subscribe button for more film stuff. The Princess made its way to Hulu this week and stars Joey King as... The Princess. Locked at the top of a tower and betrothed to the evil Julius, played by Dominic Cooper, the princess spends a somehow agonizingly long 94 minutes fighting her way out of the tower on a quest to save her family. An action movie sinks or swims by merit of its action sequences, and on that front, the princess is in desperate need of a life jacket. The fight choreography in this movie is forgettable at best, but mostly feels like it was shot for a pilot episode of a CW show. Look, excessive slow-mo during color by numbers fight scenes does not make the fight scene better. It just makes it longer. And speaking of Zack Snyder, there's one scene in the third act of this movie where Joey King's fighting her way through this courtyard that feels like step for step to be the same choreography used in the Hot Gates battle in 300. Like, if you see this movie, go check it out. The whole 300 clip is on YouTube. Like, you'll see what I'm talking about. The movie has some pretty ugly set design that just feels cheap. So much in this movie does. It all just feels like very made for TV. There's a moment in this movie where the princess lights a knight on fire and the CG is just so bad. Like, with no exaggeration, I would say that these CG flames are some of the worst CGI that I've seen in a movie made by a major production company within the last five years. Honestly, it's very likely longer than that. And this is the 21st Century Studios picture we're talking about. I, we're not even talking about Searchlight. Like, honestly, I have seen uh, some IFC Midnight films in recent memory that blow this out of the water in terms of visual quality. Plot-wise, this movie is paper thin. The princess needs to escape the tower and has to fight hordes of soldiers along the way. Yeah, I've seen that movie before too. And then I saw it again. Look, I'm not complaining that this movie has a lackluster plot. That's honestly not a problem in a movie like this. There aren't many critics out there complaining about the lack of narrative depth in movies like Nobody or John Wick because the movie is shot well and the action's compelling enough that the entire ride's pretty damn enjoyable. Speaking of Nobody, let's talk about Nobody for a minute. So Nobody was shot on a budget of 16 million, made like $56 million. Critics liked it, people liked it, people went to go see this movie because it was a chance to see Bob Odenkirk, the Breaking Bad guy, Better Call Saul himself, in an action movie. Yeah, that's a pretty intriguing premise by way of casting alone. Nobody's pretty similar to John Wick in terms of plot, almost to the point where it could be considered like a light copy. Yeah, nobody cares. Saul Goodman was the main attraction. And then you watch the movie and you're like, oh my god, he's like actually kicking ass in this. Like you get exactly what you were promised. Some original and weighty action sequences featuring Bob Odenkirk and he sells it shockingly well. And then you think about this movie, The Princess. There are people out there that like Joey King. She's a talented, dramatic actor. They like her in the act, which is also on Hulu, and maybe by merit of that show alone, some of those people wanted to see this movie. But make no mistake, that is not the premise that this movie is trying to sell you on. The act is not Breaking Bad, okay? Joey King does not have that Saul Goodman pedigree. No, 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 no. What this movie is trying to sell you on is the very original and intriguing premise that a princess could be an ass kicker. Well, guess what? That's not original. And in 2022, it's frankly insulting that a film is trying to pander to the lowest common denominator of movie watcher from this position of superiority by pumping out a movie like this that's poorly shot with shoddy set design, bad CG, flat and boring action, and gift wrapping it up in this pretense of timely movie making because you'd never guess that they'd put a girl in the driver's seat of an action movie. You've been warned. That's what this is. Watch the trailer. That's what this movie is selling you. Been there. Done that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Did you like this movie? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more movie and TV discourse. More film stuff to come.